Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are taking a look at Napkin Notes and see how this app is going. So let's first start off with the pricing and the pricing isn't actually too bad unless the monthly plan is $10 each month, which I think is a little expensive, but the yearly plan is actually quite cheap for $60 each year, considering a lot of other note-taking apps take a lot more and you have a believer plan, which is a one-time payment uh, of 300 US dollars. This app has a Readwise integration and the iOS collection app so quite similar to a Tana capture app it is a mobile app where you can actually send notes into the app but you can't retract or see your notes in there and that's what a lot of note-taking apps do before they actually make a full on um, mobile app and it also has a readwise integration which is great now let's log in and check out my napkin notes so the way this works is actually that you have all of these different notes here and it helps you to connect uh, the notes together using AI. So it tags them, auto tags them with AI, quite similar to something like my mind, what my mind does. And when it, when it um, tags it, it also shows how it is connected to something else. It also has a cool um, feature where you can actually go through all of your different notes. It calls it the daily mix and you can just jump through all of your different notes and see how they are connected. It is a serendipity feature. I don't have a lot of notes in this because I'm personally not using this app. Uh, you have stacks, which is something recently added. You can add things to a stack. Uh, you can give the stack a name, which is basically a way of organizing. I haven't tested this out uh, simply because I am not using this app enough. But let's add this to a stack. Let's now look at our stack. This has one note inside of it. Let's call this uh, productivity. I couldn't come up with a better name. Uh, and you can see the notes inside of your uh, stack. Let's just add another one to see how this works. Let's add this to productivity. And we open up the stack again and you can see the different notes here. So it is basically a way of organizing. Let's remove both of these. And uh, it, it is a great looking app. I love the visual approach of this. It has search as well if you're looking to find something. Uh, and you can use the different tags to search or you can find an idea by... Uh, just typing something as you can see it has full text search and this is quite a powerful app um, especially for just basic note taking it has a limit on your notes because it wants you to take atomic notes a lot of you who have been into the zettel custom note taking system know that uh, know the idea of uh of atomic notes it is really hard to talk and press at the same time there is no other uh, sort of functionality like to do's uh, if you wanted to jot your to do's down i haven't at least been able to figure out how to do that so the only thing it works for right now is actually taking notes and the only reason for me not using an app like this even though i uh love the visual approach and I basically love everything about it even the pricing is the fact that it is really hard for me to capture my social media ideas into here and actually have a good workflow with my social media ideas uh, but I have put some notes into here just to test it out and it does a really good job at connecting your notes together so it might find ideas in your notes that you have not been able to find before which is quite quite 
cool. So that's basically it for Napkin. It is a really powerful note-taking app. It is new to the market, so it will continue to develop. But as of right now, it is looking really cool. And it really is good for those of you who take atomic, small atomic notes and want an easy way to connect your different ideas together without you having to actually do the work and with apps like this it is really important to have a lot of notes right now i don't have enough notes for this to do a good job at connecting different things together but if you have a lot of notes both the serendipity feature which is called the daily mix which i showed you earlier in this video as well as the whole app in general works a lot better if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and as usual, I hope to see you again quite soon.